Good day, YouTubers. Welcome back to my channel. Time for a spot of royalty. So, I want to read you a quote from Candace Owens. Candace Owens tweeted, It's been three days since Prince Harry has offered another exclusive interview regarding how much he and Meghan hate his family. Can somebody check on them? <laughs> I really like Candace. And I, I was there in the beginning when Candace started making, uh, you know, just, just, I don't know what to call them, just really uh, just outrage videos. And she was nobody. And one of her videos blew up and I saw her and I'm like, oh, wow, I really like her. So I started following her and then she just blew up from that point. So I'm really glad to see how far Candace has come in such a short time. And now she's uh, working with Ben Shapiro. She's on the Ben Shapiro show. The other thing I'm noticing is... Uh, Harry and Meghan are hanging out with Orlando Bloom and Katy Perry. Uh, and I'm so glad to see that Katy Perry has grown her hair back out because I really didn't like that butch cut. Uh, and very unfeminine and very unattractive. And, you know, I was thinking about, you know, buying a 10-foot pole and keeping her away from me because of that haircut because she was so unattractive. Anyway, <clears throat> so... I'm wondering who the real Diana is. I, you know, because I'm always saying that Harry, all of his words are straight from Meghan. Well, I do believe that. I think Meghan is so controlling and I think she is scripting his words. But now I'm beginning to think that Harry is also playing the role of Diana and he's just jealous because he's literally speaking her words. He's walking the same places. He's wearing the same clothes. He's doing exactly what Meghan is doing. And he's actually the son of Diana. So is Harry stealing Meghan's role of a lifetime by playing Diana? Do we have this weird, I mean, what a weird relationship. Do we have a weird jealousy thing going on between Harry and Meghan? Is Harry stealing Meghan's Diana role? Hmm. Ace is one, two, three aces. Couple of eights, two eights, three aces. Interesting. All right. So what do I see? Ace of hearts, uh, a a heart connection. Uh, and the future and the past and spiritual, a heart and spiritual connection. She is with him always. Eight and ten, eighteen, five diamonds. And he's just, this connection, this connection follows him through life. So he feels really connected to Diana. Mustard seed, it's a new thing. Aces are new and he's transformed himself He's trying to transform himself. He's transforming himself into a woke version of Diana. And maybe Diana was kind of woke and we didn't notice it so much because, you know, women, uh, they, they serve different roles on the earth. And it's maybe not so noticeable for a woman to talk about her emotions uh, as much as like a man, like Harry, for instance. Two hearts and son... Exposing the close connection and her death. Everything, cornucopia, all material things, transforming everything. So overwhelmingly, Harry is transforming himself and he's doing it. And this is a new thing for him. And he's, he is trying to be Diana and he's honoring her death. And he's trying, he's trying to transform himself. I mean, he left the royal family He's now living in Hollywood and he feels that this is the best way to transform himself is by being the embodiment of Diana. So he kind of is playing a role. He's trying to transform everything. Interesting. And that's what Megan is doing. Okay, so they're both actually doing the same thing. I don't see any jealousy. There's no competition with uh, Megan. In these cards, let's look at Harry 
versus Diana. Is Harry... So he's absolutely trying to transform himself. We're going to ask it in another way. Is Harry literally trying to play Diana? And we'll look at the comparison. Harry and Diana. So he's trying... He's transforming himself. This is a time of transformation. He's... Yeah. Yeah, he's really trying to transform himself. Well... You know, I have no problem with that, but you don't do that. You don't have to do that at the expense of others. You can be positive and not negative. So let's look at Harry and Diana. Is Harry playing, literally playing the role of Diana? Harry, well, we have a no. Diana. Is Harry literally playing the role of Diana? No. Uh, Mercury is electronic media and TV. Finger of God. 18 and 7, 25. Seven hearts. Two sevens, two nines. Two sevens and two nines. Sevens return endlessly. So outside influence. So from outside. Electronic media. Hmm. I don't know if this... No could just be she's removed, she's stopped, she's removed. This kind of is more like, yes, he is. What do we have over here on the Diana side? Very emotional man manifesting. 26, 36, and we have nine spades again. So what's in the middle of Diana's spread? Harry. So this is Harry being very emotional and manifesting this. Okay, but we have no. I think this no is like Diana's not on board with it. Okay, Diana's not on board with it. He is doing this, but Diana is not pleased. Diana's, you know, looking through the veil on the other side, and she's like, no, I don't like this. This is not a good idea. I don't like this. I think that's what these no's are. He is doing this. He is playing the role of Diana, because on the Diana side, it's Harry being very emotional and manifesting this. This is not Diana manifesting this. So Diana's against it, no and no. So through the veil, the, the, the deep-rooted relationship through the veil, the karmic relationship, uh, lost, and it's in front of the whole world, 16, 22, Two sixes, two eights. So I actually think that it's all about Harry just being very emotional. And, and irregardless of what these ridiculous woke people say, they're always trying to get men, tell, talk about your emotions. Dude, if you're a dude, and I know most of my viewers are women, but if you're a man and you're talking about your emotions, you're an idiot. Because nobody wants to hear it. You're an idiot. So don't believe a word of it. Okay, keep your mouth shut. Okay, so Harry is, he's just talking about his emotions. Diana is not pleased. And I, I think he is doing this. He is playing the Diana role. And it's all about his feelings and his emotions and how upset he is. And, and we see William is not doing that. And I'm going to have to say William is winning. So we have this thing where Harry and... Harry is Harry and Megan are bonding with Katy Perry and Orlando Bloom. How's that relationship going? I mean, is this just I'm sure they've hung out. How's this relationship between them? How's it going? Oh, cute. Oh. Oh. In cards. Okay, so solid foundation, an acquaintance, a key acquaintance, 10, 19, five clubs, uh, one of several key acquaintances. I think they're both, it's very positive, very light. Oh, it's wonderful to see you. What are you drinking today? Let's hang out by the pool. You know, park the car in the yard, we'll hang out by the pool. What's going on underneath? Uh, union, here's another union card, opportunity and union. Uh, but here, 
seven clubs and five spades. They're not part of the spine. Seven clubs cross the spine. They're not part of the spine of their life, but they are connecting. Eight, 15, 25 spades. Yeah, they don't want a close and personal relationship. Uh, it's just very friendly, very casual. Uh, they're just, each of them, Katie and Orlando can maybe make some good connections from Harry and Meghan, and Harry and Meghan can make some good connections from them, but it's just, it's really not personal. It's not personal at all. It's just casual, very casual business, and they're going to keep it that way. So actually, it looks like a good relationship for what it's intended to be. Now, our people in Santa Barbara, are they loving the fact that Harry and Meghan are bringing so much attention to Santa Barbara and Montecito with their constant carping and moaning? Or are they like, I wish they would just shut up. You know, how do the people of Santa Barbara feel about their new neighbors, Harry and Meghan? Are they happy that they're there or they're just like, they're over it. They're tired of all of this. Oh, there's the devil. There's the devil. All right, what are the Santa Barbara neighbors feeling? Okay, well, we have joined to the devil, working with the devil. They're just so negative. This woman is so freaking negative. Uh, and they're, they're loosely, Fox and Ten Diamonds, they're loosely associated with the t uh, royal family. And devil is mirroring royal family. The woman hates the royal family and they're just using, using, and lying about, and trying to harm the royal family. And it's about Meghan. So people can tell that Meghan is the one who is very upset at the royal family because she didn't get, she didn't get all the cash and prizes that she was looking for. 24, 34, 45, 48. Oh, that's interesting. 48. Queen of Spades. So Jack of Spades and Queen of Spades. So underneath, yeah, they just feel like it's just too much negativity from this woman. Too much negativity about the royal family from this woman. And they're really sick of it underneath because we have the devil showing. And that's a very negative card. That's the most negative card. What do we have on the surface? Big change is the theme. And we have two fives with it, which are change. So people have, are changing their opinions. Big change going forward and reacting three diamonds. They're, they were very happy that Harry and Meghan moved to Montecito and Santa Barbara. And it added, you know, a little more something, a, a little more uh, celebrity to their town. Okay. And they liked it, but that's all changed because that woman is like the devil. She'll do anything to hurt the royal family. So they're not, the people of Santa Barbara are not delighted anymore that, that all of the vitriol coming out of Meghan and Harry, they're not delighted anymore and they don't want to be associated with it. That's interesting. Okay, so what do we have? What, what do we have? Is Harry stealing Meghan's role as Diana? He is, it's all about his emotions. It's all about him transforming himself. Okay, and this is from Meghan. Meghan is a master of transforming herself because she, in my opinion, she's a narcissist and she lacks a solid sense of who she is. So she's very, she is world-class at transforming herself into whomever she feels she needs to be to achieve her goal. And that's what Harry's doing. Harry is transforming himself. He's trying to transform everything. And he's playing on this close heart connection, you know, the forever connection with, with Diana. But this could be seven clubs, okay, which would be a, a, an eternal return card and the cross, but instead it's 10 clubs. It's very mundane. It's not, in, this is not spiritual. It's not inspired. It's, it's, it's a material strategy. It, 
it, I won't say that it comes from the other side of the Goetia, but it's, this is man's thinking. It's not a really great idea. This is Harry's plan to transform himself, but 10 clubs, it's not a great idea. If this was seven clubs, I'd say this is going to work. Okay, but it's 10 clubs. I don't like the 10 clubs in the foundation position. I don't like it, but that's Harry's plan. Okay, that's Harry's plan. Harry and Diana is, it's all about Harry. On Diana's side, this is Harry being very emotional. I think Diana doesn't like what he's doing. Okay, because we're not going to just disappear, poof, you know, just because you shed this mortal coil doesn't mean you'll disappear. So he is playing the Diana card and Diana doesn't like it. Stop it. Just stop it. She doesn't like it. Okay. The bonding with Katy Perry, and thank God she changed her hair, and Orlando Bloom. How's that going? As a very casual relationship, it's perfect. They really know how to do the plastic, very casual, I'm not going to be in your business relationship. But there's no real connection here. It doesn't, it doesn't go below the surface. Cross is, you know, the, the spine of a person. That they're... They're not letting them pass the surface. And that's on both sides, which that's fine. If that's the kind of relationship it is, that's fine. Those relationships can really work. And so I think it's really a very positive relationship for both of them. But if Orlando and Katie are not benefiting, they'll just move away. If Harry and Meghan are not benefiting, they're just not going to call Katie and Orlando. So they're all in it for what they can get. Uh, is Santa Barbara loving Harry and Meghan or are they, they've had enough? They've had enough. Uh, and their opinion has really changed. They've had enough. And they feel that this woman, Harry's wife, is a devil. So, and that's really bad. And once people change their mind about you, it's very hard uh, and nigh impossible to change their mind back. That's how I see it. I'm Joseph Magi, author of Playing Card Divination, Fortune Telling, The Magi Method. As always, find the book worldwide on Amazon in Kindle and paperback versions. Find the full color card deck used here on Etsy slash Magi Method. Please feel free to like, share, subscribe, and comment.